this year does not look the way any of us expected it to look. We want to be in person and gathering to watch small children dress as angels and shepherds and animals, and we want to be together. But because of our love for one another, we are staying home and staying safe so that next year we can gather together in person to celebrate the birth of Christ. Even though we are not together, we still celebrate. We celebrate all that we have, and we celebrate the story that does not stop even in the midst of a pandemic. The birth of Christ speaks to us of miracles and extraordinary events when we least expect it. I'm so grateful for all of you for helping us tell this story and helping us live into this story week after week after week as we continue to gather and give praise to God for the many gifts that we have. This season, I am grateful for you all. I'm grateful for this community that I get to walk alongside with and be a part of. It has not been an easy year, but it has been made better and brighter by being with you all. I wish I could say in person, Merry Christmas. I wish I could hug you all and distribute the bread and wine for communion. But until we are able to do that again, I hope that our videos, our Zoom worship, and everything else that we do will help tide us over and stay connected. So to you and your families, I wish you a very Merry Christmas. I give thanks for the birth of Christ and I give thanks to God for all of you and for our beautiful and wonderful community. I hope you enjoy our Christmas pageant and the retelling of the story that we get to give this year in our own special and unique way. Now the birth of Jesus took place in this way. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And all went to their own towns to be registered. went from the town of Nazareth in Galileo to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. Oh, 
the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. And the angel said to them, do not be afraid, for I am bringing you good news of joy for all people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. The shepherds said to one another, let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born King of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. had stopped. 
they were overwhelmed with joy. And when they had come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. 